morning dear children of standard 5 i am mona gumari your english language teacher is here with an educational video for you which will help you to study at home today i am going to explain chapter 3 subject and predicate we use complete sentences every day when we read speak or write complete sentences help us to communicate in a way that enables us to understand each other's thoughts and ideas now let's take a sentence a coconut has fallen
Is that right? 
divided into two parts a subject and a predicate so our subject will be nikita and sings a song is the predicate and what is the what to be note that i have told earlier a predicate will always contains the verb and hence in this case also our verb is sings now
written we write u before the starting of the sentence in a bracket okay this implies that that this was this was not the part of the sentence this is an extra addition that we are making okay depending on the sense of the sentence and put the flowers in the vase put the flowers in the vase that is the given sentence put the flowers in the vase was the given sentence earlier so this this will be the remaining part okay and it will be the whole predicate and we have put the u before the predicate so and we are getting our answer also as u when we are asking the question to the put okay so this is our subject the hidden subject and the remaining part of the sentence put the class in the vase will be our predicate okay in the same case read the book okay if we are saying to someone it is a command read the book and we are uh, so first first step is what we have to find the verb in the sentence so read is the verb in the sentence now second and when we ask a question who or what to the verb we who read the book we are getting the answer no we are not getting the answer when we are asking who to the verb now in this case what i have told in the what i have done in the first sentence we have to put u in the bracket okay now now let's see if i ask who who read the book i am getting an answer u okay you read the book now this is the our subject and the remaining part will all be the predicate understood so in this way we can find the subject and the predicate in the imperative sentences okay now you have to see that page number 17 okay chapter 3 page number 17 question number a this portion you have to do it your by yourself in the book only and page number 18 that is b number this also you have to do by your own only c number also okay in your book uh, of language this book only in the in your language book okay so i hope you have all understood this chapter very nicely the subject and predicate okay thank you